Welcome to December! Woo! I love December. Hey, welcome to Rich Kids Online. We are so glad to see you. My name's Louie. And I'm Leanne. And we have an exciting morning plan for you. It is December, one of my favorite months of the year. A new month means a new monthly theme challenge here at Rich Kids. You know, I'm starting to catch on that every month is her favorite month of the year. True. And I can't <laughs> wait to see what our challenge is this month. I'm, I really enjoyed last month's challenge to stuff it or not to stuff. And this Thanksgiving, I was the only one who was definitely stuffed. <laughs> I felt that way too. I don't think this month will change that. I mean, December is the time for Christmas cookies and hot chocolate and Christmas candy. And, you know, I could go on and I love the food in December. And that all sounds wonderful to me. What exactly is our theme challenge though? Well, it's called Can You Christmas It? Now, I know you're thinking, what exactly does that mean? What it means is that we'll be taking challenges all month that have to do with things we associate with December and Christmas. Well, I do love Christmas, so I guess I'd love to hear more. Uh, like, what is our challenge for this week? Well, this week has to do something that you give during December. Many people look forward to giving and receiving these all month long. Do you have any ideas? Uh, my first guess would be presents, but I don't know what kind of challenge would, we would do involving presents. Well, it doesn't have to do with the present itself. It has to do with making the present beautiful. Oh. Our challenge this week is, can you wrap it? I do a great job of wrapping presents for my mom, so this shouldn't be a challenge <laughs> at all for me. Well, I'm glad that you feel that way, because we both will be given a box that we need to wrap, okay? So I can't open this right you now. cannot open it right now, but you will get some scissors and some okay. tape, because that's what we all use for wrapping. Would you like the green bow or the blue bow? You can have a bow. These are lefty scissors. Do I have to use my left hand? Yes, you do. Okay. Makes it even better. Yeah. And there's some ribbon. Oh, and I have some wrapping paper. Ooh. Would you like peanuts or let it snow? Or I like the shiny blue, blue one? one that you didn't offer me. One? Okay, well, I was trying to keep it for myself. Yeah, you, the shiny. Yes, I got to share, right? Okay, so what's the deal here? We're wrapping the present. We Is have it just to like wrap a normal? No, we're oh, going to have one minute twist. to wrap this present, okay? okay? Make it as beautiful as we can. Okay. And we have to do it with only one hand. Oh. So what do we do with our other hand? Um, you're gonna try and put it behind your bag. I don't know how this is gonna work. I've never tried this before. Okay. I don't I'm a know little how worried about these things. I know. I do too. Maybe we need to clear our yeah, table. Not, Let's do take that, this guys. Glass Sorry. Off the table. Why don't we take our Ridge Kids Devo? I love the Rich Kids Devo, and this beautiful nativity definitely has to be moved. Okay. We don't want anything to happen. So to we're gonna sit on our hand. Mm. Our right hand. Are you, are you right or left handed? I am right handed. Okay. So we're gonna sit on our right left hand. I'm sitting on my left hand. And we're gonna. You can choose okay. which one you want to sit on. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. This is gonna be difficult. Ready? Do you think we could use our elbows at least, like just not no, our hands? Just oh, one arm. Gosh. All right. Ready? Get set. Go. Okay. doing a good job already, I can help. I love these scissors don't cut correctly. They don't cut right. Well, whatever. I was trying to make sure you really had a chance. Get it? My lefty scissors don't cut right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are always so funny. I don't want you to think I'm cheating here. Look at that, you already got that done. I'm feeling a lot like Christmas here, Louie. How about you? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is basically as good as a regular present that I wrap looks like. Well, you know, I think it might not looking too bad yet. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah. Hey, that's my tape. I didn't want to put your tape in my mouth. I already do. Oh, there's my tape. Sorry, didn't mean to shoot that at you, Louie. But you know, all fairs and lemon challenges. The tape is the hardest part by far. I would have to agree. The tape is by far. And my tape is now missing, so you know. I think we bought the budget tape. Well, I you know, we wanted to spend probably... the real money for for the Christmas present. Oh. So. Oh, yep. The timer's probably wrecking out. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> I think you won. Look! I like it! Good job. We I'll did use a both, great I'm job. I'm gonna use both hands to clap for you. Good oh, job. Oh, thanks. 
You know, there were a couple times, I must admit, I did kind of pull my hand out, but I didn't use it. It just kind of like inched For up. For balance? Yeah, yeah, I was kind of, you know. You know, that was a lot of fun. It but was fun. I don't think that everyone came here to watch us wrap presents with one <laughs> You're hand. probably right. I think there's a deeper meaning for what we're doing here. Today. Yeah, I think they probably came to hear our Bible story, which we should probably get to right after we do a quick review of what we've talked about in the past. Okay. We have been studying how the Bible is God's story. It began when God created the world and he created people who then began to disobey him. God promised that he would send the Messiah to the people to deal with their sin. So today's Bible story is called Prophets Told About Jesus' Birth. Let's check it out. Long before Jesus was born, some of God's prophets told people that Jesus would come. The prophet's words are written in the Old Testament. Two of the men who told about Jesus' birth were the prophet Isaiah and the prophet Micah. Isaiah the prophet lived hundreds of years before Jesus was born on earth. The first message about Jesus was about who Jesus' mother would be and who Jesus would be. Isaiah said, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. Isaiah said that God would choose a woman who is not yet married, and she would be Jesus' mother. He said, too, that one of Jesus' names would be Emmanuel, which means God with us. Sometime later, Isaiah talked about Jesus again. He said, A child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Even more names for Jesus. All these names tell us who Jesus is and the great things he would do. Jesus was coming to earth to help people and protect people. Jesus would be a king who cares about his people and he would bring peace to the whole world. Isaiah's third message was about Jesus' family and his power. Isaiah said that Jesus would be part of Jesse's family. Jesse was King David's father. Isaiah said that God's spirit would be with Jesus and Jesus would be wise and strong. Jesus would do the right thing and he would be a fair ruler. Finally, the prophet Micah told about where Jesus would be born. Micah said that Jesus would be born in a town called Bethlehem. Micah also said that Jesus would be ruler over Israel. Hundreds of years later, everything the prophets Isaiah and Micah said about Jesus came true. God's plan to save people from sin and death was not a secret plan. God used the prophets to give hope to his people. They said God would send a Messiah, born into the world as a baby, to live the perfect life people failed to live and die the guilty death we deserve. God's people were in a very hard situation. When sin entered the world from Adam and Eve disobeying God, all people were separated from God. God gave the people a law to show them how to be holy, but no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't obey perfectly. They needed to be rescued from their sin because no one on earth was good enough to live a perfect life. We still aren't. But luckily, God had a plan to send a Messiah, a savior to save people from sin and death. He didn't keep that plan a secret. He told prophets how the Savior would come into the world. Did these things really happen? Yes, hundreds of years after God gave these messages to the prophets, everything God said about Jesus' birth came true. Which is amazing and something huge to celebrate this time of the year. Exactly. God sent us the perfect Savior to save us from our sin. I think that would be a perfect time for us to sing a song of worship together. Sounds like a great idea to me. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her be her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Heaven and heaven and nature Glory 
Worship is a great way to praise God. I think our time here is kind of drawing to a close. <laughs> I, for one, have had an amazing time with you this morning, and I've had a good time with you too. Me too, and I love finding out about our new December challenge. Before we go, we have an announcement for all of you. It's about the December devotional. Yeah, we've got a great <laughs> December devotional. Why don't we check out this video before we pray for our day? born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. That was an amazing video about our devotional. I'm so excited for this devotional. It's just so pretty. It is, and you know what? We have plenty in the church that you can stop by and pick up for yourself and also maybe a friend or a neighbor. Yeah, but it's not a gift, so don't wait till Christmas Day to give it to them. Just give it to them now. That's right, and that way they can spend a couple weeks learning about their true reason for Christmas. That's true. Why don't you pray for us? I was just thinking that's and a great idea, Louie. I think people are ready to go. I think you're right. All right. Dear Lord, we just thank you for today. We thank you for this wonderful month of December and being able to reflect and celebrate how you gave us the greatest gift of all, your son, Jesus. Lord, we just ask you to be with us and bring us back together again next week. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Bye, guys.